You remembered something about Annie, Ryan. That's huge. Aren't you happy? That that is what I've been waiting for. That wasn't a yes. Oh, well, it's like the memories. I mean, they came back. These these images sort of flashes. Me and Annie, and, and we were, you know, we were passionate. Remember, and, uh, and I could see it. You know, so obviously it actually happened. But you were in love. Yeah, it's not like I, I can't comprehend that in my head. It's just... Just here. Did you tell Annie that you remembered? But you didn't tell her that you don't. Uh, I can, uh... see the hope in her eyes. I can't. I can't hurt her more than I already did. Yeah, but you can't pretend either. And I just keep coming back to why. And I think I might have an answer. I don't, all, all of the frustration and all, all the guilt and the reason that it's the feelings that haven't come back to me. I mean, what if I never really loved Annie at all. Oh, right. No. It's a possibility, and I just have to, I have to face that possibility. Aiden said that um, he thinks I never really wanted to marry him at all. That I was using what he did with Kendall as an excuse to bail. That's insane. He said I was waiting for someone better to come along. Who? You. Aiden knows that you and I are... What? What are we exactly, Ryan? More than friends? Less than soulmates? Ex-soulmates? He thinks I never got over you. You guys were engaged. He cheated with Kendall. You broke up. I don't see how I figure into that at all. I told Aiden that I didn't want to have kids. He didn't understand why I would do anything to have your child, but with him, kids were out of the question. He says that no matter how much I've changed, no man in my life will ever compare to you. He's not exactly wrong. You wanted kids so badly. And I never wanted to be a dad, and now look at us. <laughs> Complete reversal. God's sense of humor. I was so sure that I was going to end up like my old man. No, I knew you wouldn't. All of the horrible stuff that happened to me as a kid, that I remember. Not holding Spike or Emma for the first time. Not falling in love with my own wife. You're not alone now. You know, I told my shrink about this, and I told Kendall about this, but... Something about telling you. It's nice. How we always come back to each other. Well, the first step is to get you producing eggs. There are potential side effects. Uh, they're in the literature, but I thought... Whatever they are, it's, it's worth the risk. You may experience mood changes that can be quite severe. Huh. Is, is there any way to prevent that? Well, most women say that what helps most is going through this experience with a strong and supportive partner. Well, then I should have no problem. We can't do this. Greenly, it's not a good idea. It's not. You're hurting. So are you. It would be so easy for us to go back to what we know, but we can't. We gotta be... We gotta be smarter. We gotta be stronger. I, I've been strong. Ryan, I've been braver than I've ever known. I mean, where's it gotten me? You've been spinning your wheels for months. We have to stay focused, On Greenlee. what? On what? The love you can't feel? The wedding I have to unplan? I know kissing you right now is not the answer, but what is... You just said you're not sure if what you had with Annie was real, so is that your answer? I'm so confused. I'm so frustrated right now. 
But Annie is my wife. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. You're right. About everything. I'm not saying this to hurt you. I know. Really. I really want you to find the man that you belong with. The man that is always going to be there for you. But I can't be that man. Well, it's getting late. I, uh, I should probably get going. I actually have an interview to do with Kendall. Yeah? yeah. You gonna be okay? Sure. What I said. You have a wife to get back to. I have a life to get on with. So we're good. All good. You can do this, Greenlee. You can move on and you can be happy. Next, all my children. Hit me with everything you got. You have no right to digging around in my private life. But Zach told you secrets. You know better than anyone. Husbands and wives don't tell each other everything. Watch weekdays.